Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Man writes a diary in Shinigami, Rukia's wife collapses. Chapter 1, Soul Society, Jingling Court. The 13th team's school field located in the woods. Ding ding dang dang. The continuous sound of sword clashing sounded. A tall, gentle man with shoulder-length white hair was feeding a petite mushroom-headed girl with firm eyes and a very discerning personality. But even if Jashiro Yukitaki is always sick and weak, the captain is still the captain. Even if it was a feed move, Rukia quickly showed his weakness, staggering back two steps in a slash by Jashiro Yukitaki. Facing the long sword that Jashiro Yukitaki was chasing closely, Rukia raised his sword finger, and a cold chant came, O oh King's Lander, Vientian. Okay, that's it Rukia. Seeing Rukia who was about to go red, Jashiro Yukitaki had no choice but to stop the training. He had a headache. Rukia, are you still not letting go? As Kayan watched Zanpakuto fail and die in front of him, Rukia subconsciously doubted his own Zanpakuto. In addition, she is already good at Kido, and now there are faint signs of using Kido as her main fighting method. Jashiro Yukitaki sparred with Rukia in order to reverse Rukia's subconscious behavior. It's a pity that it seems to have little effect so far. Sorry, Captain, I. Looking at the disappointed Jashiro Yukitaki, Rukia was a little ashamed. It's all right, no need to explain, Rukia. Jashiro Yukitaki shook his head, and persuaded earnestly, believe me, that kind of virtual ability is just accidental, I'm afraid you will suffer because of such a psychological barrier. Yes, Captain. Rukia bowed her head deeply, expressing her willingness to listen to Jashiro Yukitaki's teachings. But looking at Rukia's dazed eyes, Jashiro Yukitaki knew that she didn't listen at all. Forget it, you go back first. Jashiro Yukitaki waved his hand. In Rukia's situation, perhaps, he should let her go to live in this world to eliminate spirits for a while to relax. Jashiro Yukitaki rubbed his chin in thought. On the other side, Rukia, who was a little lost, returned to his team house in the 13th division. Of course she knew about Jashiro Yukitaki's worries, but there were some things she couldn't forget, and she couldn't help it. Hey, sighing heavily, Rukia lay on the tatami bed, trying to forget these troublesome things with sleep. But Rukia just touched the pillow, and the hard touch made her startled suddenly. What? Rukia moved the pillow away. Beneath the pillow, a quaint brick book with a hardwood case is exposed. There are several large characters written on the simple wooden cover, Shiraki's Diary, Rukia Exclusive. Shiraki, looking at the names on the diary, Rukia was very puzzled. If it's Shiraki's Diary, why is it exclusive to her, Rukia? Also, why did Shiraki's Diary appear in her place? Whose prank? Rukia murmured, eyebrows furrowed. She knew Shiraki, who was once a man of the Spiritual Arts Academy. Because of his excellent appearance, he was enthusiastically pursued by many girls. It's a pity that he didn't seem to like any of them, and he didn't choose anyone. Afterwards, it seemed that he was bored with the fanatical pursuit of the girls. After graduation, Shiraki entered the second team directly, and has been silent since then. The failure to pursue Shiraki back then is still among the top regrets in the Jingling Women's Association's collection of life regrets. To be honest, Rukia is still very curious about the diary of such a famous man. But Rukia is a good boy and has no intention of peeping into other people's privacy. She is going to put away Shiraki's diary and return it to him when she is free. However, when Rukia's tender little hand was placed on the diary, the heavy cover of Shiraki's diary was automatically opened. An extremely familiar photo came into view. It was the back view of a petite woman with mushroom hair. Looking at the background and weather time, this seems to have been taken after Rukia had finished sparring with Jashiro Yukitaki. Along with the photo, there is also a sentence that makes Rukia's blood pressure rise instantly. Team 13 ran into Rukia to check in. Hehehehe, <laughs> Queen Lu, my Queen Lu, is small, fragrant, and soft. I really want to hold her in my arms and rub her hard. Hey e h e h e h. Looking at the onset remarks in the diary, Rukia was shocked. The cold and awe-inspiring man in my memory, who was just like her big brother, actually had such an image in his heart. Before he even cared about being secretly photographed, Rukia subconsciously continued to look down. Looking at Queen Lu who is still very young, 
thinking of the stupid Kubo who arranged Queen Lu and Aburai Renji together, I am so speechless. Vomited. How can such a do queen be cheaper in the future? What about the baboon of Aburai Renji? Does he have a key? Match a few. Simple mouth stink, ultimate resentment. The resentment coming to her face, and the content described in it, made Rukia frown. Hey, what the hell is Shiraki writing? I'm with Renji later. How is that possible? Rukia recalled the appearance of Aburai Renji after a long absence. In memory, the other party used to be like her big brother, who gave her a lot of warmth. But unfortunately, when Rukia was adopted by Bukuya Kuchiki, Aburai Renji automatically alienated Rukia, making it impossible for her to get closer again. In comparison, the feeling Aburai Renji left for Rukia is not even as good as Shiraki, who had the same attitude towards her before and after Rukia was adopted. Even if she wanted to find someone to marry, how could she find Aburai Renji who had alienated her? This diary, and Shiraki, what the hell is going on? Rukia was very puzzled, she continued to look down. However, there is one thing to say, looking at the young Rukia now, I think of Rukia, the captain of the 13th squad at the end of the Shinigami manga and the Hell chapter. Sihasha, the mature captain Rukia, and the side ponytail wife Rukia, they are so delicious and astringent. With attached photo, with attached photo. Two more pictures appeared in front of Rukia. But different from the previous real people, what appeared in front of Rukia at this time were two cartoon pictures that were extremely similar to her, like a real person turned into a second dimension. Seeing himself outlined in black and white with a slight smile, wearing a captain's haori and wearing a side ponytail, Rukia nodded subconsciously. Well, it's really delicious. Hey, no, what am I talking about? Realizing what she said, Rukia let out a cry of shame. In an instant, Rukia's pretty face under the mushroom head flushed, and even her delicate and tender feet wrapped in pure white socks tensed up. Strong emotions stirred in Rukia's heart, which could not be calmed down for a long time. But what she couldn't deny was that, looking at the picture, she was wearing the 13th Division Howry, with that natural posture, Rukia did have some indescribable satisfaction and longing. After all, becoming the captain is every Shinigami's ultimate dream. She wants to be like that, to get rid of the immature version of herself she is now. However, while realizing this, Rukia also felt a deep sense of curiosity. What happened to Shiraki's diary, the appearance she drew that she couldn't even imagine, and the future revealed by the other party? The answer to everything may be in the back. Rukia turned her gaze back to the diary. At the moment, because of the continuous pictures, there is no room to continue writing on the first page. There is no longer the relaxed posture at the beginning. Rukia sat up straight, stretched out her hand, and gently opened the second page of the diary. Cough, I traveled to Soul Society and met Shinigami's heroine Rukia. The original two-dimensional lady became a real person, and she was so beautiful, which made me a little excited. However, Shinigami has manga, anime, and theater versions. Is the world I live in an anime version or a manga version? Anime version, manga version. Rukia paused after reading word for word. She was very concerned about terms such as time travel and Shinigami heroine written by Shiraki before, but the content now makes her unable to understand. Why is the world linked to manga and anime? And the version of the world? Rukia raised her hand and pinched the center of her eyebrows, relieving the headache caused by receiving a lot of information. Rearrange the information you have seen so far, Rukia. Rukia murmured. With the sudden appearance of the weird diary and the information revealed on it, it is obviously not the time for her to take it easy. Fortunately, Rukia has been a top student since the time of Spiritual Arts Academy. After entering the 13th team, his personal strength is far ahead of the average team members, and his basic intelligence analysis ability is no problem. On the first page, Shiraki wrote future messages, he was very upset that I ended up marrying Renji, and he knew me very well. On the second page, Shiraki said that he has traveled to Soul Society, and I am the heroine of Shinigami. The Shinigami here is obviously not the professional name of Shinigami, it refers to other things, and the title of heroine generally appears in dramas and novels. There is also a second dimensional young lady who becomes a real person, I don't know what a second dimension is, but am I not a real person? Further back, Shinigami has anime and manga. I understand both anime and manga. 
That means Shinigami refers to an anime or a manga. And this world is an anime version, and it's still a manga version, that is to say. After sorting out the information obtained so far, a shattering conclusion emerged in front of Rukia. My world is actually an anime, or a manga. And I'm the heroine in Shinigami. This kind of thing. Rukia covered her head in pain. At this time, Rukia only felt a big clock continuously roaring in her mind, making her dizzy, tinnitus, and in a trance. Everything in the past echoed before her eyes. Encounter Aburai Renji from the Rukongai period. After the friends died one after another, they entered the Spiritual Arts Academy. Studying at Spiritual Arts Academy, and later being adopted. Then to enter the 13th Division, the Gentle Kyan, and the despair of stabbing the sword into Kyan's body that night. My experience, everything about me is so real, but you want to tell me, are all of these arranged by others? Including Captain Kyan's death that night, that tragedy. Rukia's eyes were tearing apart. She usually goes to Jingalingting Women's Association and also reads some romance novels. Even if she is called the Queen of Lu, she is still feminine and slender, and she is often cried by the tragic hero and heroine in the novel. Along with other people in the Women's Association, Rukia also often complains why the author is so cruel and wants to abuse the hero and heroine. But what Rukia has to admit is that it is precisely because the hero and heroine have suffered that she is more attracted and likes them more. But the problem is, if such a method is arranged on him, he will not be so happy. He he, ha ha he he. For a moment, Rukia laughed nervously. Thinking of such a Kayan, such a Sheba who died just for the knife reader, she couldn't accept it. I do not believe. In other words, I don't want to believe it. So Rukia wants to prove that Shiraki is wrong. Maybe he just awakened some kind of special Zanpakuto. Zanpakuto's ability is ever changing, such a thing is also possible. Rukia holds up Shiraki's diary again. New content comes into view. I remember that Bawan Soul Hunting and Zanpakuto Rebellion are original animations, and manga does not exist, but the setting of the valley in the theatrical version was officially corrected, and the general captain, Jashiro Yukitaki, and Sister Wa were killed after the death. The hell chapter of pushing into hell, it's so messy. Seeing this, Rukia's pupils shrank. If I had told her before that the world was just a cartoon, she would have just exploded her three views. So what I saw now made Rukia reveal a kind of disbelief and resistance from both body and mind. Chief, such a captain will die. I can't imagine the scene of the death of the captain. Also, what does it mean to be pushed into hell? The huge amount of information revealed in just a few lines made Rukia beat his head in pain again. What Rukia didn't know, though, was that, at this moment, Rukia was not the only one who was shocked. Division 4, Captain's Room. Looking at the new content in the diary, the gentle smile on Yunohana Retsu's face disappeared. Quietly looking at the weird diary that suddenly appeared in front of him, Yunohana Retsu lifted the braids on his chest and stroked the incision on his chest. The unstoppable smell of blood and death spread from the corner of Yunohana Retsu's downturned mouth. It seems that the one here is not the captain of the 4th Division with a pair of skillful hands to save the world, but that murderous ghost from thousands of years ago. I, will die. Ah, it's nothing. The problem is that the captain will die. Who did it? Yunohana Retsu muttered to himself. Just like Rukia, she couldn't imagine, who can kill the captain who has been invincible for thousands of years. However, unlike Rukia who was unwilling to accept, Yunohana Retsu calmly accepted that he was a character in an anime or manga. As a veteran captain, she understood why she was pushed into hell after death. Knowing this secret proves the authenticity of Shiraki's diary. It's just that Yunohana Retsu doesn't think that everything about her is arranged by others. The world is a comic, rather the author happened to know her story and wrote it. I have to say that Yunohana Retsu is very curious about the ending of her own story. Shiraki, I remember, he was a Shinigami from the 2nd Division Police Patrol. Yunohana Retsu looked at the diary on the table. At the same time, Shihuin Yoruichi of the Urahara store in the present world, Yadomaru Lisa of the Masked Army Resident, Rangaku of the 10th Division, Niyinmeng of the 12th Division, Hinamori Momo of the 5th Division, Hibachi of the 2nd Division, and the 13th Division. Many female Shinigami who received Shiraki's diary made the same moves as Yunohana Retsu. Why did you write off the topic again? Shiraki complained helplessly in front of the girls. 
The vivid helplessness that seemed to appear in front of them made them smile knowingly. The girls continued to look down. Then, a helpless point appeared. Below, the bottom is gone. E -e 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 One after another, coquettish screams appeared everywhere in the jingling court. Why is it gone? Looking at a blank diary, Soul Society's many female Shinigami scratched their heads, overwhelmed by the desire to follow. For the first time, they knew what it was like to wait for an update. However, at this time, Shiraki, the culprit in a hut in the second team's team building, had no idea that he had attracted so many people's attention. He just closed the pen that he bought specially for writing a diary, and stopped writing. Because the system prompt arrived. Ding, the host has initially completed a diary entry, do you want to submit it? Looking at the system prompt, Shiraki was pleasantly surprised. Is what I wrote a complete diary? Yes, yes, now that the number of words is enough, or in the eyes of the system, it is completed, Shiraki, who is very good at fishing, will not continue. Ding, the host has initially completed a piece of diary, and the novice gift package is distributed. With the sound of the system announcement. Immediately, a powerful Reiatsu injected Shiraki with mind-swelling knowledge. With the input of Reiatsu and knowledge, Shiraki only felt that his spiritual body strength and spiritual shendu were greatly improved, and all kinds of muscle memories of punching ghosts emerged in his hands, feet, and mouth. It seems that in this instant, he has tempered Shunpo thousands of times, completed countless slashes, smashed many heavy wooden golem piles, and continuously cast Kido from Reiatsu in his body to exhaust and fill. Shiraki quietly closed his eyes to experience the mysterious sense of strength improvement for a long time. After a while, Shiraki opened his eyes. In an instant, two real lights burst out from Shiraki's eyes. Even Shiraki himself was taken aback by the light that lit up the somewhat dim dormitory. I'm going, people's eyes can really ejaculate. I always thought this was an exaggerated way of writing by the novel author. What's the principle? Shiraki thought while resting his chin. Soon, his newly acquired knowledge about Reiatsu gave him the answer. This is because Shiraki's short-term Reiatsu boost was too large, and he didn't control the overflowing Reiatsu himself, so the Reiatsu poured out from his eyes, which caused this phenomenon. However, if you want to find out such a phenomenon through inadvertent Reiatsu leaks, you need at least a Reiatsu at the vice captain level. Quote exclamation mark quote. Shiraki who came to the conclusion was shocked. Is it the power of the system to let him go straight from a 20th level common Shinigami to the vice captain in an instant? And what Shiraki got is not only Reiatsu at the vice captain level, but also Zonkwan Zugi at the vice captain level. As a member of the second team, Shiraki's Shunpo is already good. After obtaining the system's Shunpo bonus, his Shunpo even touched the threshold of the captain level. Don't look at the threshold of touching the threshold of a mere captain, such a statement is not strong. But Shunpo has always been the most easy to learn and difficult to master part of Shinigami, because Shunpo can't bring people direct strength even if it is too fast, and many people's attitude is that it's enough to just know it, which is very perfunctory. Shunpo who has touched the threshold of the captain level means that Shiraki's Shunpo has surpassed 99% of the people in Jinglington. Even in this Jinglington court, he has the basic self-protection ability. After all, I can't beat you, can't I run you? Okay, Shiraki couldn't help nodding. Not long ago, he recovered his past life memory, and then awakened the system that became stronger when he wrote a diary. Originally, I thought that writing a diary would make me stronger, not as straightforward as signing in and coming from 9 to 5. Shiraki still had some criticisms, but now it seems that writing a diary to become stronger is also very good. At this time, the system's notification sound came again. Ding, the first diary is completed, the novice gift package has been distributed, and the diary is officially activated. Ding, the daily task of the diary is released, please host to complete a diary of 1000 words every day. Complete a thousand word diary and you can get a standard Reiatsu at the vice captain level and a random ability. Note, random abilities include Zonkwan Zugi skills, Shinigami Zanpakudo skills, and a small number of alien abilities. The higher the number of consecutive diary completion days, the higher the chance of obtaining advanced abilities. At the same time, keep writing a diary, and after a certain number of days, the host will also get random rewards. Ding! 
Keeping a diary is a fixed daily task for the diary. In addition to the fixed daily task, the diary will also release random tasks. The host can decide whether to complete the random task. Ding! The random mission is released. Long-term task. There are all kinds of beautiful girls in Shinigami. Go meet them, take pictures, check in, and record them in your diary. Reward. It depends on the object of the photo and the record at that time. Note. Young ladies who have already checked in can check in repeatedly, and the cooling time is one week. Ding. It was detected that the host has completed a photo check-in before, and the check-in object is, Rukia Kuchiki. Ding. Reward. 33 changes of Hado Extremely Effective Blue Fire Pendant. Ding. Rukia Kuchiki check-in time has entered the reset period. With the continuous ding 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 sound of the system, another wave of profound knowledge poured into Shiraki's mind. And after closing his eyes again to experience the new Kido knowledge, Shiraki was completely dumbfounded. No, you told me this is the blue fire pendant. Shiraki held out his hand, flipping his wrist, palm up. The next moment, the surging Reiatsu gathered in the palm of his hand with the newly acquired knowledge, and a blue-purple flame quietly appeared, and then began to burn. The new blue fire pendant looks quiet and beautiful. It's just that Shiraki knows what kind of horror lurks in it. He picked up the pen he just wrote, and lightly threw it above the flame. The jet-black lacquered fountain pen swirls in contact with the blue-purple flame. In the next second, a terrifying scene appeared. I saw that the pitch-black pen burned red the moment it came into contact with the flame, then melted into molten iron, then the molten iron boiled, and finally gasified. The pen that was long in the palm of an ordinary person turned into a wisp of smoke in the blink of an eye. If Shiraki's high school physics memory serves me correctly, iron has a melting point of 1538 degrees Celsius and a boiling point of 2750 degrees Celsius. The pen is vaporized the moment it touches the blue fire pendant, that is to say, the temperature of Shiraki's blue fire pendant far exceeds the boiling point of iron. That's the truth, because what Shiraki held in his hand at this time was not a flame at all, but a mass of high temperature plasma. According to the introduction of Kido obtained by Shiraki, its temperature is 5000 K, which is 4726 degrees Celsius when converted into degrees Celsius and the temperature on the surface of the sun is only 5,500 degrees Celsius. That is to say, suffering from Su Emu's green fire pendant is basically equivalent to walking around not far from the sun. Gia 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 Gia. Looking at the blue fire pendant in his palm, Shiraki subconsciously uttered the voice of the elder of the soul palace. Extremely effective blue fire pendant, so terrifying. However, even if the newly obtained ultimate blue fire pendant is as terrifying as it is, that is a thing of the past. Now, a new question appeared before Shiraki. He just burned the pen out of his brain, what will he use to write today's diary next? I'm such an idiot, careless, complaining to himself, Shiraki got up, ready to go to Rukongai to buy another pen. However, what Shiraki didn't know was because of his break. Some action-packed female Shinigami can't sit still anymore. Second Division, Command Room. Why not update? Looking at the diary that hasn't been updated for a long time in front of him, the impatient Banfeng slammed the table and sat up. Ah, sudden sitting up wasp startled the Vice Captain Omeida Marekio who was still catching up on sleep. What's the matter? Omeida Marekio looked at Pufang in confusion. Captain, what happened? HMPH. Looking at Omeida Marekio's body full of fat, Full of fat, he couldn't get angry at all. As a hidden second team leader, Omeida's existence is to pollute her eyes. If it weren't for the fact that the Omeida family is also a powerful nobleman, and he himself looks at garbage, but is actually quite useful in doing things and reliable at critical moments, she would have replaced him long ago. But right now, the lazy Omeida can only make the bee angry, so don't blame her for using it to vent her anger. Omeida, lose weight, how many times have I told you? Also, as a member of the stealth maneuver, you should always be vigilant. Now, Shunpo exercise, 100 laps, go. Ah, come on, Captain. What did I do wrong? Omeida Marekio, who was sitting at home, felt wrong from the sky. Looking at Omeida like this, the sharp eyes of the bee stared, huh? Do you want to add another hundred circles? It's okay, I'll go, I'll go. Under the gaze of the sniper, 
Omaeda picked up the Zanpakudo and went to run around. Seeing the figure like a mountain of meat disappear before her eyes, the depressed mood of the bee eased a little. Looking at the diary on the table, Banfang fell into deep thought. As the commander and captain of the second division's stealthy maneuvers, Banfang's vigilance has always been full. When the diary first appeared, she tried it out. Banfang found that this diary is not only indestructible with a knife, but also indestructible by fire, and it is also invisible to others. It seems that it is exclusive to Beifeng and Soi Fan written above, and it is really exclusive to her. Not only that, she couldn't even reveal the information in the diary to others if she wanted to. As long as such a thought arises a little bit, a sense of urgency that the heart is being held will arise out of thin air. Banfang has a premonition that as long as she dares to disclose the information in the diary to others, she will burst her heart and die in the next second. It is so miraculous that the bee is full of vigilance about the diary, but for the words above, after verification, she also believes in it. Because, regardless of whether her world is a comic or not, the arrival of the traveler in front of her and this diary are opportunities for the aborigines. As long as the traveler's information about the future of the world can be obtained through the diary, Babe can avoid the end of the future from happening. The problem is, after Shiraki's diary writes some information, it stops writing. How did the captain die in battle? Since Rukia is the heroine, who is the hero? As the commander of stealthy maneuvers, she is naturally curious about secrets, which makes Banfang feel like a kitten is scratching. Therefore, after discovering that the diary had not been updated, Banfang became completely anxious. Shiraki is just a common Shinigami, has there been any crisis, has there been any problems? All kinds of questions echoed in the heart of the bee. Come here, thinking anxiously, the bee shouted loudly. Swipe, swipe, swipe. A series of shunpo sounds appeared, and a whole group of Shingjun ninjas who were wrapped in black cloth with only their eyes exposed half kneeled in front of the bee, waiting for her orders. Go, get a Shinigami from the police patrol. Having said this, the scorpion bee suddenly stopped. She originally wanted Xing Jun to bring Shiraki to her. But the potato bee realized it before she could say Shiraki's name. As a special time traveler, the more exposed Shiraki is, the more dangerous she is, and she cannot reveal the other party's name. In case something happens to Shiraki and she stops writing the diary, how will she know what's going on in the future? Now that you can peek at the opponent's diary, maintaining the status quo is the most beneficial choice for the bee. After figuring this out, a stream of fine cold sweat broke out from the smooth white jade back under Captain Banfang's feathers. It's dangerous. Banfang breathed a sigh of relief. She was so anxious that she almost made such a mistake. It's okay. Let's spread out. Banfang waved at Xing Jun who had just been recruited. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Although very puzzled by the behavior of the bee, the Xing soldiers who obeyed the order also dispersed obediently. In an instant, there was only a bee left in the spacious command room. Bumblebee thought again, Shiraki cannot be exposed in front of other people, but the situation of the other party is unknown now, it is best to go and see him. So, if you want to find out what Shiraki is doing now, it's best for her to do it herself. The potato bee concluded. So, do I have to do it myself? Ha, huh, interesting. After becoming the captain of the second team, Banfang has not performed a single mission for a long time. At this moment, the long-lost single-player mission is to investigate a special traveler like Shiraki, which makes the bee excited. I'm going out to relax, you are not allowed to follow. After throwing down a sentence, Shunpo Shunpo disappeared in place, and sneaked to the station of the second division of the second division, preparing to find Shiraki. It's just that the second team is secretly maneuvering to monitor the entire jingling court. If the power of the second team is used, it is of course easy for Kaban to find a common Shinigami. The problem is, she went to investigate alone, which is not necessarily the case. But in fact, when it comes to finding someone, purposeful searching is inferior. How do you say something? I searched for him thousands of times in the crowd, and suddenly I looked back, but the man was in a dimly lit place. Good poetry, good poetry. Following Hitsugaya Tashiro's daily Rukongai patrol, Matsumoto Rangaku suddenly shook his head and recited a poem. Quote question mark quote. Matsumoto Rangaku suddenly fell ill, causing Hitsugaya Tashiro to squint at her, wondering what's going on with her madness. 
However, for Toshiro, the big sister Rengaku has always been suppressed with one hand. Not paying attention to Toshiro's expression, Rengaku said with a playful smile, Hee hee, Captain, I'm sorry, I suddenly saw an acquaintance, can I ask for leave? Hum, looking at Rengaku who didn't want to work, Toshiro's forehead exploded with a tic-tac-toe. If I say no, won't you go? Toshiro asked with a frown. Ah, of course, Toshiro is the captain. Rengaku held his face, pretending to be weak and said. How did my poor, weak, and helpless little vice captain resist the order of the captain? After all, a little girl is born beautiful and hard to give up on. Even if the captain asks me to do such and such a thing, I will agree. And speaking, Rangaku suddenly changed a serious face, however, I don't think Toshiro will do this, right? Hey, Toshiro sighed deeply as he looked at his beautiful and lovely vice captain. Sure enough, he still couldn't handle Rangaku. Forget it, let's go. Toshiro waved his hands helplessly, and said what he had said a million times. You must find time to make up for today's work. Hi, hi, Rangaku saluted cutely, and then stroked Toshiro Bing Blue's short hair very smoothly, as expected, I still like the captain the most. Woo, it's too rude, let me go, I'm your captain now, not your third seat. Toshiro avoided Rangaku's claws in embarrassment. And after Toshiro finally escaped from the clutches of the devil, Rengaku also set off a burst of fragrance and disappeared without a trace. At this time, Toshiro noticed the strange eyes of the other 10th squad members and he sighed helplessly. Rubbing his face and smoothing his hair, Toshiro sighed helplessly under the envious eyes of the other 10th squad members. What are you looking at? Keep patrolling. The 10th division, which is a patrol unit, continues to conduct daily patrols. Watching Toshiro leave, Rengaku smiled, then turned his head. Rengaku, whose face was still full of expressions just now, suddenly there is only a piece of calm left on his face. This is a Rengaku that Toshiro has never seen before. And in Rengaku's hands, a thick diary that looked like a brick appeared at some point. This is a new function she discovered when she went out before. The diary can be stored in the body and then taken out at any time. Opening the diary, Rangaku looked at the diary that had no more content after going off topic, and then looked at the handsome man not far away, Rangaku narrowed his silver-gray eyes slightly. Traveler, Shiraki, right. Since you are a time traveler, do you understand about Yin? Gathering his expression, Rangaku walked towards Shiraki. Just when Shiraki passed a street corner, a soft and mature delicate body followed the calculated route, and it was a double meatball impact directly. Boom. After a dull sound, ouch, Rangaku let out a seductive whisper, staggered a few steps, and fell back to a sitting position. It hurts. Lowering her head, Rangaku rubbed her butt in pain, hiding the shock in her eyes. What's the matter? I remember that Shiraki is not a common Shinigami. Why did I bump into it on purpose, and I was knocked down by him instead? Rangaku was puzzled. The moment the two of them made physical contact just now, Rangaku was caught off guard by the strong force coming from the other's body. It's just that, as the other party being collided, Shiraki didn't think so much as Rangaku thought. Seeing Yuji with orange hair, big waves and big breasts who was knocked to the ground by him, Shiraki was taken aback, you are, Rangaku. Shiraki scratched his head, what day is it today? He ran into Rukia when he went out on patrol in the morning, and bumped into Rengaku when he went out to buy a pen in the afternoon, could it be that he is in a romantic period recently? But one thing to say, as a famous beauty in Shinigami, Rengaku's necklace is really big, oh no, it's really deep. Condescendingly admiring the beauty of the beauty and the deep groove in Somalia, Shiraki subconsciously turned on the camera function of the diary. Crack, there was a sound of taking pictures that only Shiraki could hear, and Shiraki recorded the beautiful picture of Juru Yuji who was sitting on the ground and looking up from the bottom. Later, the girls who have been following Shiraki's diary discovered that Shiraki's diary has been updated. Punching in, ran into Rangaku big sister, accidentally knocked her to the ground, mine. However, Rangaku is so beautiful, I would call it a man's dream wife. After all, the chaos is too great to hold with one hand. It's a pity that Rangaku looks coquettish and mature, and sometimes gives benefits to others when he is drunk, but under the open appearance, Rangaku's heart is tightly tied to Ichimaru Jin. Ichimaru Jin was really up to the task. 
In order to get back what Aizen took from Rengaku, he hid beside Aizen for nearly a hundred years. In the end, he really found a chance to kill Aizen and snatch Hogyoku back. It's a pity that Ichimaru Jin understood Aizen's Kyoka Suigetsu and Aizen's strength, but he didn't understand Hogyoku. But Ichimaru Jin's assassination of Aizen is really classic. After Rengaku's pick, Ichimaru Jin Kamashini no Yari piercing Aizen's chest, and Kamashini no Yari bursting, Ichimaru Jin taking Hogyoku from Aizen's chest was posted by Shiraki on the diary. This is what Shiraki suddenly remembered as he was walking on the road. He can snap pictures from his memory and put them in his diary, so why stick to writing with a pen? Sure enough, it is also possible to directly enter the diary with thoughts, but the diary can be entered with thoughts, but the report of the second team cannot, so Shiraki still had to buy a pen, so he didn't go back, went to the pen shop, and then met Rengaku. And looking at Shiraki's new diary, Yurahara store, Yoruichi was shocked. Hogyoku, Aizen, Ichimaru Jin is actually from our side. Shiraki revealed a particularly large amount of information this time. Although it's just an anime picture, the colorful pictures also directly show the state of Hogyoku Aizen and his possible abilities. But what surprised Yoruichi the most was not this, but Ichimaru Jin. It was hard for her to imagine that the man who advertised himself as a snake, like a snake, actually lurked beside Aizen for Rengaku and actually killed Aizen once. No, I'm going to talk to Kazuki immediately. Yoruichi couldn't sit still. If Ichimaru Jin was on their side and learned that he did have the ability to kill Aizen, then Soul Society's dead game would be much easier to solve. However, just as he stood up, Yoruichi sat down again. I can't explain the source of the intelligence, just say it, is it really good? Thinking of this, Yoruichi thought. With the friendship between her and Yurahara Kazuki, of course it can be said directly, but sometimes, a little error in information can also bring about a result that is far from the same. Since Matsumoto Rengaku ran into Shiraki by chance and allowed Shiraki to reveal so much information about the other party, why didn't she learn this form? No, I'm going to the Soul Society. Just do it, and after talking casually with Yurahara Kazuki, Yoruichi embarked on the journey to Soul Society. However, Shiraki didn't know about this at this time, nor did he know that his diary had a great impact on the girls, and many female characters in Shinigami were getting closer to him. But at this time, in terms of impact, the biggest one is Rengaku who just collided with Shiraki. At the same time that Shiraki updated the diary at the speed of light, the diary in Rengaku's heart was also opened. So, Rengaku saw Shiraki's diary and learned about Ichimaru Jin's situation. So, something was taken away from me. And Jin, it was for me. Rengaku's silver-gray pupils shook violently. The question that had been bothering her for so long was answered, and Rengaku finally understood why. Why Ichimaru Jin keeps away from her. Immediately, relief, touch, grievance, and even some inexplicable anger flooded into Rengaku's heart when he finally got the answer. The mixed emotions also made Rengaku instantly overwhelmed. Tick tock, tick tock. By the time Rengaku came to his senses, unstoppable tears had flowed from his eyes. No, what's the situation? Looking at Rengaku who was sitting on the ground and crying suddenly, Shiraki was also puzzled by Monk Joji. To add insult to injury, the Shinigami at Rukongai was the focus of attention. Shiraki and Rengaku are still handsome men and beautiful women. At this moment, one is standing and the other is sitting and crying. It is hard not to make people think wrong. Just for a moment, Rengaku, who was sitting on the ground, trembling with holy light, seemed to be really sad, attracted the attention of several big brothers. Hey, kid, bullying women in broad daylight, right? Seeing it, several big men with muscles all over their bodies and arms capable of running horses approached. I didn't do anything, Shiraki wanted to explain. But before he could say anything, her white and tender hands grabbed his belt. The next second, a strong force came, and under Rangaku's continuous shunpo, the two quickly disappeared in place. Not long after, with Shiraki in hand, Rangaku stopped in an alley. Looking at Shiraki, Rangaku wiped the tears from the corners of his eyes and said apologetically. Sorry Shiraki-kun, I just suddenly remembered something sad. I didn't hold back, it has nothing to do with being knocked down by Shiraki-kun. Oh, ah, it's nothing, as long as Vice Captain Matsumoto recovers. 
Shiraki shook his head, feeling somewhat clear in his heart. The collapse of adults is often in a flash. From this point of view, Rangaku is not as free and easy as he looks. Sad thing though, is it Ichimaru Jin? Before the plot started, did they still meet? Shiraki thought about it in his mind, but it didn't show on his face. I have a problem too, I should pay attention to the road. Facing Rengaku, Shiraki smiled lightly. At the same time, Shiraki was still a little puzzled. Vice Captain Matsumoto, do you know me? Of course, how come I don't know Shiraki kun? Rengaku smiled, with a teasing look on his face. Shiraki kun is the dream of many female Shinigami. The sisters of the Women's Association have complained to me about Shiraki kun's ruthlessness. Ah, this. Listening to Rengaku's words, Shiraki was a little embarrassed. You know, when he first came here, he had no memory, let alone a self. Rather than saying that the person at that time was Shiraki, it is better to say that the system squeezed a robot to host the body, and of course there would be no response. After all, how could a robot dream of a teenage bunny girl? But outsiders don't know this. In the eyes of others, Shiraki is Shiraki from beginning to end, so he can only fool the past. Hey, it's all the mistakes I made when I was young. When I was young, I didn't know how good my senior was, and mistakenly regarded learning as a treasure. Shiraki let out a heavy sigh. If I had seen how mediocre I was earlier, I wouldn't be single now. Hehehehe, <laughs> Shiraki Kun's words are really interesting. Shiraki's strange jingle made Rangaku tremble, and it took a while for him to calm down. Rangaku wiped away the tears that came out of laughter, and exclaimed, Sure enough, we are more famous when we meet each other. In private, Mr. Shiraki is a very interesting and very Asahi man. Ah, listening to Rangaku's words, Shiraki was taken aback, with a weird expression on his face, and he couldn't laugh or cry. Shiraki never imagined that one day he could also be called Azashi. Thinking of the male protagonist Asasha in other anime, all kinds of beautiful girls throwing himself into his arms, and now he can only meet these beauties by chance, Shiraki showed a wry smile. Vice Captain Matsumoto is awesome, Asahi or something, I'm still far behind. But that being said, with a diary as a cheat, Shiraki is still very confident about his future. Even if someone like Rangaku who puts his whole heart on Ichimaru Jin is not coming, but you know Hana Retsu, Yuyin, Yoruichi, etc., at least one must be married. Shiraki thought to himself. However, Shiraki didn't know that after seeing his diary, Rengaku, who was originally focused on Ichimaru Jin, had a million points of deviation in his thoughts at the moment. Shiraki kun, don't call me Matsumoto's vice captain, it's too unfamiliar, just call me Rengaku. As an apology for disturbing Shiraki kun, how about I buy you a drink? With a perfect smile, Rengaku stretched out a slender hand, inviting Shiraki generously. And looking at the dead bully outfit that was more open because of Rengaku's actions. Shiraki, there is no way to refuse. Oh ho 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 ho, another glass. At this time, Matsumoto Rengaku's heroic queen laugh echoed throughout the izakaya. Rengaku little, Rengaku, that's enough, drink any more and you'll be drunk. Shiraki, who had been drinking with Rengaku for a while after recovering, said with a wry smile. Even though he already knew that the quality of Rangaku's wine was poor, he never expected it to be this bad. At this time, due to the high drinking, most of Rangaku's body leaned on Shiraki. The beauty's fragrance mixed with the aroma of wine continuously floated into Shiraki's nasal cavity, and the blood-spitting killing was released at will. Under the influence of alcohol, Shiraki only felt a little blood rushing. The question of whether it is a beast, or whether it is inferior to a beast, seems to be coming to him soon. But that's not okay, Shiraki doesn't want to be stabbed by Kamashini no Yari yet. Pulling his arm out with difficulty, Shiraki pushed Rangaku. Hey, Rangaku, can you still hear me? You can't drink any more. Hum, ah. Leaning his head on Shiraki's shoulder weakly, Rangaku opened his slightly hazy drunken eyes. What, let me have another drink, okay. Under Shiraki's speechless gaze, Rangaku poured another glass of sake, and the clear liquid overflowed under Rangaku's rough movements, slid down the edge of hot red lips, and finally wet the clothes around his waist. And after drinking this glass of wine, Rangaku seemed to have finally reached the limit, weighing over a hundred, and after a lot of time, his body was completely pressed against Shiraki. 
Quote dot 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 quote. Reluctantly reaching out to hold Rengaku's soft fragrant shoulders, preventing her from falling down. Looking at the big orange wavy hair close at hand, Shiraki couldn't help but ask the doubts since he started drinking. Rengaku, what's bothering you, why do you feel like you're getting drunk? By drunk, hearing the keyword, Rengaku, who is not drunk and everyone is drunk, opened his eyes again, and stuck out his little tongue cutely, he he he, I didn't expect to be discovered by brother Shiraki. Immediately, Rengaku's silver gray eyes, which had just woken up a little bit, became blurred. She continued to arch her head towards Shiraki's arms, her charming red lips parted slightly, and the ethereal voice seemed to come from the nine heavens. Hey, brother Shiraki, do you know? It's not terrible to know that you are unlucky. What's terrible is that the happiness you once had is gone forever. Also, I have no idea how happiness is lost. At this time, Rangaku expressed the deepest hurt in her heart through the alcohol. And this passage directly refers to Ichimaru Jin, who used to be with her when she was a teenager, but suddenly left without saying goodbye. For a long time, Ichimaru Jin's departure has been a question that Rengaku tosses and turns in the dead of night, and can't figure it out. She really didn't understand why Ichimaru Jin suddenly left without saying goodbye and never interacted with her again. However, such a question has finally been answered today by the mysterious traveler. Only then did Rangaku know that Ichimaru Jin was there to help her regain something she had lost. Rangaku is moved by Ichimaru Jin's sacrifice, but even annoyed by Silver's sacrifice. The Soul Society is not a boxing world. The Women's Shinigami Association is a real feminist, not a refined egoist who requires male Shinigami to pay for themselves without limit. Therefore, a girl who really loves a boy will not ask him to pay with her life. All she wants is for her beloved boy to be safe and stay with her. But unfortunately, Ichimaru Jin didn't do it. His silent contribution was too heavy for Rangaku. It was even so heavy that she couldn't accept it. Because Rangaku doesn't want Ichimaru Jin to pay so much for her. And, to put it in a rebellious word, if one person pours out his heart and soul to another, does that other person have to listen to what he says? For your own good is not a panacea. Therefore, after getting the answer, after crying, Rangaku was relieved. She still has feelings for Ichimaru Jin, but not as deep as before. It's just that Rangaku is not selfish, and she can't watch someone do nothing for her, even if she doesn't want the other person to pay for her. Therefore, Rangaku decided that she would find a way to help Ichimaru Jin, so that he could be freed from the meaningless sacrifice early. Originally, she had no choice. After all, she was robbed of a certain essence, so that her strength could only reach that of the vice captain. But now it's different. Lying on Shiraki's shoulder, Rangaku looked at Shiraki's handsome side face with blurred eyes. As long as she can catch this mysterious traveler, then she can catch the real future. So, under Shiraki's bewildered eyes, Rangaku sobered up a lot after he uttered a sentence of unclear meaning through alcohol. But her attitude is even more enthusiastic. Brother Shiraki, what's the point of drinking alone all the time, you come too. Hey hey, I see, the wine glass here must be not smooth, right? It's okay, I have a new wine glass. Rangaku took a sip of wine, but didn't swallow it, and leaned over directly. Shiraki, after another round of pushing cups and changing cups, Shiraki leaned back in his chair weakly. Beside him, Rangaku, who had drunk herself a lot of wine before, was already lying on her front armor, and fell asleep beautifully. Seeing Rangaku sleeping on his stomach with a pillow, Shiraki smacked his lips enviously. At the same time, looking at Rangaku's peaceful sleeping face, Shiraki was a little apprehensive, what a charming fairy. Fortunately, I controlled myself, otherwise, I would have been beaten to the bone and sucked the marrow by this succubus, and I would have wiped it out. Just now, Rangaku personally fed wine, Shiraki did not follow. He is not stupid, after entering the izakaya, Rangaku's obvious enthusiasm and welfare can still be felt. I don't know if it's an illusion, but Shiraki always felt that Rangaku wanted to get close to him, so he purposely got himself drunk first. Shiraki was puzzled by this. With a thought in his mind, the illusory diary that only he could see unfolded. Kacha Kacha, start by snapping a few pictures of Rangaku's seductive sleeping face, Shiraki wrote. Just had a drink with Rangaku, Rangaku was drunk, not because I can drink very well, 
but because Rengaku seems to have something on his mind, and has been drinking himself. Of course, Huang Tian, I understand that people don't speak dark words. The drunk Rengaku is very attractive, and I like the benefits she sends out very much. But the problem is, Yeme said in the original book that Rengaku is a person who can be so defenseless against men. Doesn't she like Ichimaru Jin? Shiraki, be careful, be careful. Zhang Wuji's mother said that the more beautiful a woman is, the more she will deceive others. At the same time, one must be wary of the three major illusions in life. She likes me. I'm still a coward now, and I have to be strict with myself. It's better not to pick up this kind of unreasonable peach blossoms. However, the day when I can pick up the stars with the sun and the moon in my hand is not necessarily the day. What the hell, I dare to pick up peach blossoms if you dare to give them. One thing to say, if Rangaku can really be my wife, it would be pretty sweet. But to be honest, in my standard, Rangaku is actually not suitable to be a wife. She is too hot and attractive. Love is a blessing, but it is easy to make people feel insecure, so she is suitable for a lover. At this point in the mind writing, Shiraki also suddenly became interested through the drunkenness. And if we talk about the candidate for the first wife, it really has to be my sister Wa. Ha, huh, you know Hana Retsu, who was still arranging flowers in the fourth team, suddenly stopped moving while looking at the diary that suddenly started to be updated. Me, you know Hana Retsu murmured suspiciously. She has lived alone for thousands of years, she has been a murderer, and she has been a holy mother, but she never thought that she could be someone's wife, let alone her life after marriage. Of course, no one dared to chase her. Why, you know Hana Retsu wondered. Simply, she didn't put any flowers, just sat and waited for Shiraki's diary to be updated. And soon, Shiraki's diary also continued to write. Don't look at Sister Wa who is usually dignified and beautiful, gentle and gentle but unapproachable, but Sister Wa is really fragrant. The big braid tied to the chest actually hides Sister Hua's own H-level majestic mind. And from the murderer thousands of years ago, first-generation Kenpachi, and self-cultivation, to the current captain of the fourth team, Sister Wa is also very good at the hall and the kitchen, and she is also very good at fighting. Killing and saving lives is all in one hand. Take it out to save face. If you are lucky enough to marry Sister Wa, you will basically eat soft food until you die, and you can be a useless person with peace of mind. I would like to call Sister Wa a super big wife. Through the diary, Shiraki's praise almost overflowed. Team 4, looking at the diary, you know Hana Retsu blushed rarely, oh, am I so good. After all, people a thousand years ago were afraid of her, and people a thousand years later respected her. You know Hana Retsu has never seen such a straightforward liking. However, a thousand-year-old big sister like her is liked by people, and her charm as a woman is directly affirmed. Shiraki's words made you know Hana Retsu very happy. Hee hee, little guy, your mouth is so sweet. At this moment, a gentle smile different from usual appeared on Yunohana Retsu's face. It's just, Yunohana Retsu is happy, some people are not happy. In the boundary break, Yoruichi, who was still on his way, stopped. As the wife's first choice, Captain Yunohana Retsu. Tisk, there's no reason to be unwilling to lose unexpectedly. But, having said that, Yoruichi frowned slightly his perfect oval face bulged slightly, but it was extremely obvious that he showed a touch of displeasure. After all, who is Shiraki? She is a traveler from another world, and she is an existence that understands all the women in the soul society. It can be said that the personal selection of the traversers is extremely authoritative. And a creature like a woman will not admit defeat only in her own charm. I'm going to quicken my pace. Yoruichi quickened his pace with an inexplicable unhappiness. But Yoruichi was soon happy. The first wife is fixed, so of course there is a second wife. Shiraki's diary continued. As for the second wife, it must be she who in Yoruichi. Ha, huh, looking at the words that appeared again, Yoruichi's footsteps that had just accelerated stopped. Second wife, is it me? Yoruichi was a little puzzled. Judging from Shiraki's previous comment to Matsumoto Rengaku that she could only be a lover, she thought that her cat would not be considered a wife. Why, with the same question as you know Hana Retsu, Yoruichi simply stopped in the boundary, waiting for Shiraki's diary. And Shiraki quickly gave an answer. After all Yoruichi buy one get one free. 
The former sister Wa may be able to give a Yongyun as a gift, but that is a small probability event, but Yoruichi is bound to buy one get one free. And here, I have to mention my Sunere captain, the dowry maid, Banfang. Tisk tisk, it's funny to say it, don't look at the indifferent look on the face of Banfang, who doesn't allow strangers to enter, but in fact she just resents Yoruichi for not taking her away when she defected a hundred years ago. Babe's admiration for Yoruichi can even be close to the level of the emperor. As long as you can be with Yoruichi, it's okay to let her be a sandwich biscuit. So, Banfang is the iron Yoruichi dowry maid. Although Yoruichi is a cat and is not familiar with it, cats also have the difference between domestic cats and wild cats. No matter how unfamiliar a domestic cat is, it is still a domestic cat. Not to mention that Yoruichi is still a very special black-skinned big sister, buy one get one free, plus power, family and other bonuses, it is still delicious. I see. Looking at the diary behind Shiraki, Yoruichi suddenly realized. She was also a little funny, I didn't expect that I would be raised by Shaoling one day. As he said that, Yoruichi's expression became weird, and a troublesome smile was drawn on the corner of his mouth. Say Ling is so strong, if she sees this scene, what will she say, I really want to know. In fact, there is no need for Yoruichi to say that on the way to Rukongai, the bee was already blown up. Chapter 11 Dowry Maid Sandwich Biscuit How unreasonable! Who, who would care that that woman didn't take me with her when she left? The bee said arrogantly like a textbook. However, no matter how incompetent and furious she was, there was a voice in the bottom of Banfang's heart telling her that what Shiraki said was right. If Yoruichi comes back, indeed waving will make her lean back like before. Of course, it is impossible for the bee himself to admit this. Gritting her teeth, the bee said, I'm going to ask him for an explanation, now, immediately, immediately. Afterwards, Banfang actually tore off his Captain Howry, revealing the professional backless and shoulderless legion leader ninja suit. Use the moves you just practiced not long ago. Instant coax. Powerful Reiatsu vibrations, like substance, high concentration Kido Reiatsu like an electric arc diffused behind the snow white shoulders of the bee. The ultimate mystery of white hits is activated instantly, and the physical fitness of the bee has been greatly strengthened. With a touch of her small toes, she disappeared in place at a very high speed. Meanwhile, Shiraki continues his wife judgment. The third wife gave an extremely surprising name. If you don't count Haweko Mundo, the third wife, or the younger wife, is still Rukia. Shiraki wrote in his diary. Don't ask, just ask Rukia as the heroine, with a special filter. After all, the concubine is the most favored one. Also, when I think of the small and cute Rukia gradually developing into an adult in my hands, I can't restrain my excitement. Hey, looking at the new diary, Team 13, Rukia showed a disgusted expression. Although I have surpassed myself and there are many friends whose names have not been mentioned, I am still a little happy. But Rukia still can't accept that she is an anime character, let alone being judged like an object at the moment. How annoying, this man. Rukia clenched her silver teeth. Can't you keep a good record of the future by writing a diary? You must do these things. Rukia was a little anxious. I'm going to the present world soon, if he doesn't write about me, then I... Rukia's words suddenly stopped, and the second half of the sentence was choked in her stomach. Because the next words are very rebellious. Rukia, after knowing that she is an anime character, I had an idea. She must fight against fate. Rukia wants to prove that her fate cannot be arranged. However, if you want to fight against fate, you need to understand fate first. If you don't even know the enemy's intelligence, how can you talk about fighting against it? So, do I still have to go find that person, the traveler? Rukia murmured. After all, it seems that Shiraki's diary is very casual. He writes what he encounters and what he thinks of. It is not so much a diary as it is a voice of the heart. Maybe she can get something about her again from Shiraki only by being close to Shiraki. And if you say that, Rukia suddenly remembered something. Then she glanced sharply at Shiraki's diary. This time, where she focuses, the reactions before and after Shiraki's portrayal of Matsumoto Rengaku. Found it. Rukia starts going through the diary, especially Shiraki records before and after. Looking at the diary, 
Rukia's intelligence far beyond ordinary people appeared again, and she soon understood. That's right, after Shiraki wrote about Ichimaru Jin, Rangaku-san became enthusiastic. If my guess is correct, Rukia looked at the diary on her desk, the words exclusive to Rukia Kuchiki were very prominent. But since there is Rukia Kuchiki exclusive, then Matsumoto Rangaku exclusive, Yunohana Retsu exclusive, this is entirely possible. If you think about it this way, Rukia can guess the purpose of Rangaku's behavior. She's trying to get close to Shiraki so she can learn about herself. Amazing, Miss Rangaku, it's you. Rukia praised. You know, in the Jingalingting Women's Association, Rangaku has always been the elder sister that everyone admires, and she guides everyone in many cases. Now, she gave Rukia guidance and verification. Rangaku proved that it is possible to go to Shiraki himself and let him reveal information about them. In this case, I have to go to that person too. Rukia determined the next course of action. They seem to be still drinking at the izakaya, the izakaya that Rangaku's sister often goes to, I think. That's right, it's that one. After making a decision, Rukia decided not to rest, but to drag the body that had just finished training, and then Rukia also embarked on a journey to find Shiraki. It's just that Rukia's search is doomed to be futile. Because at this time, after paying the money bitterly, Shiraki was carrying the drunk Matsumoto Rangaku on his back, and was about to send her back to the Jubin team. But before he walked out of the izakaya, he had already put on the captain's haori again, but the red rain woman's red scorpion on his face after the intense exercise had not yet disappeared, and he appeared not far from Shiraki. Dowry maid, right, sandwich biscuit, right, I'm still the one in the middle. Asshole, looking at the tall figure with Rangaku on its back, the bee clenched its fists and showed a dangerous smile. But the facts have proved that the eyes of the swordsman cannot be hidden. Carrying Rangaku on his back, before enjoying the excellent touch on his back and hands for a while, Shiraki suddenly shivered all over his body. Suddenly, Shiraki looked not far away, and was coldly watching his bee imprinted into his eyes. You're a member of the second unit of the second division, Shiraki, right? Can you explain why you were in Rukongai at this patrol time? Looking at Shiraki, Banfeng said slowly and flatly. But anyone can feel the danger hidden under the plain appearance. Ababa, watching the bee, Shiraki lost the ability to speak. He was very speechless, why the scabby appeared here, and caught him. Send, touch fish and drink with people, but was caught by the bee. I'm gone. The real-time updated diary expresses Shiraki's inner voice. Also seeing the wailing in Shiraki's diary in his heart, the corners of the bee's mouth twitched slightly. She watched Shiraki call this wife, that dowry maid, lover, gift without restraint, and thought how strong Shiraki is. But isn't he cowardly in front of her? Hee <laughs> hee, let you call me a dowry maid. Shiraki, who admits to love, made Banfang feel the satisfaction and happiness that it has not seen for a long time and she wants to see more. Looking at Shiraki who lost his words, Banfeng took a step forward, but at this moment, his petite body gave people the feeling of being overwhelmed by Mount Tai, and the captain level Reiatsu rushed towards him. Banfeng shouted coldly, In the name of the captain, answer me, Captain Shiraki. Quote dot 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 quote. Faced with the threat of the bee, Shiraki opened his mouth, not knowing what to say. But looking at the increasingly dark complexion of the bee, Shiraki had no choice but to bite the bullet. Well, Captain, I said that Vice Captain Matsumoto dragged me here forcibly, do you believe me? Shiraki said cautiously. Oh, you mean to say that Matsumoto's Vice Captain, who was patrolling in Rukongai, went back to Jingling Ting to find you for a drink, and forcibly brought you out of Jingling Ting, didn't you? Pigeon Bee said with a nonchalant smile. Ah, Yes, yes, it would be great if the captain can understand. Shiraki nodded joyfully. As expected of the captain, he guessed my situation in an instant. Hee <laughs> hee, looking at the stinky and shameless Shiraki, Banfang laughed angrily again. It was easy to understand through the diary before. Looking at it face to face now, Shiraki is really lawless, which seems to be the inherent arrogance of the traverser. What the bee wants is to smash such arrogance and control it by her side. Do you think I will believe your nonsense? Asked the bee. And listening to the words of the bee, this time, Shiraki was speechless. 
Although he was still very puzzled why the bee was holding on to him, but now Shiraki had to use the last trick. Captain, I was wrong, Gumi Masai. Shiraki made a long bow to the bee. HMPH, seeing that Shiraki was subdued, Banfang hummed coquettishly, and finally let him go. Take Matsumoto Rengaku and come back with me. Your business, wait until you return to the second team to deal with it. Then, under Shiraki's bitter expression, the two quickly returned to Shunpo. Soon after, Jubin's squadron, in front of the gate with a daffodil pattern. Toshiro commanded the two female players, taking over from Shiraki and Vice Admiral Rengaku. Watching Rengaku's drunken figure disappear before his eyes, Toshiro sighed helplessly. Then he looked at Banfang and said apologetically, I'm sorry, the matter of Rengaku is really bothering you, Captain Banfang. It's okay, Rengaku is drunk, I should bring her back. Banfang shook his head, it's Captain Toshiro, it's exhausting to meet a vice captain like Rengaku. Seeing the helplessness on Toshiro's mature face, Banfang understands him very well. After all, in the huge jingling court, each dead body is a species of longevity, and the stronger the strength, the longer it will live. But at the same time, all Shinigami are human, and human beings are lazy. Longevity, which also led to Jingalingting's fishing and thieves. As far as the current Gote 13th Division is concerned, there may not be as many captains who really work hard. And Toshiro, who has just become the captain for a short time, and Hachi, who regards obeying the rules as an honor, are two of them, and they are not working hard. Who says it's not? Toshiro also showed an expression as if he had met a confidant when he heard what Banfang said. Rengaku, she's good at everything, except that she cheats, cheats, shirks work, and likes to go back to the captain's room after drinking to disturb me. It's really. Toshiro poured bitter water on the bee. In this regard, Potato also moved out of Omeda to talk about it. For a while, the two 996 Iron Men actually talked more and more, but forgot Shiraki not far away. But Shiraki didn't care either. For him, he entered the world on the screen from outside the original screen, and then saw people in the world who had never spoken a few words before. At this time, such an intersection occurred at this time, which made him feel quite interesting. This shows that the world is vivid and the characters are real. Naturally, we can't look at it with the eyes of watching anime before. Moreover, I was thinking too much of a thousand-word diary before, but isn't this the material in front of me? Crack, this situation made Shiraki take another photo. Picture is communicating with Toshiro and Hachibi, who are unreliable vice-captains laughs. It seems that the captain is under a lot of pressure. Decided, even if I want to be the captain in the future, I must first find someone to help me. Of course, it would be even better if we can find two vice captains like Jingle Chunchui of the chief captain. By the time, Shiraki also wanted to write some insights. But at this time, after a while, in the diary he finally opened, the long backlog of news began to flash across the screen. Ding, it is detected that the host has completed two photo shoots and clocked in, and the characters in the clock, Banfang, Matsumoto Rengaku. Ding, reward. Endless instant coaxing, perfect hogyoku, pseudo. Ding, Banfang, Matsumoto Rengaku clocked in to enter the cooling cycle. Ding, for the convenience of the host to view, the visual check-in guide has been updated and fixed in the diary appendix. In front of Shiraki's eyes, the diary appendix opened automatically. Subsequently, pictures of Yunohana Retsu, Shihuin Yoruichi, Rukia Kuchiki, Hinamori Momo, Matsumoto Rengaku, and even Haweko Mundo's Nilu, Harry Bell, etc. were arranged like a novel bookshelf. Among them, the pictures of Rukia, Rangaku, and Banfang have a countdown mark on the side, which obviously means cooling down. The many ladies and sisters arranged neatly give people a feeling of an ancient group of fragrances, and Rukia, Rangaku, and Banfang, the three Shiraki who took photos, also have a photo rotation mechanism. Obviously, this update of the diary is quite careful. Just in an instant, Shiraki thought of the various usages of this illustrated book, storing pictures in the void, and it can only be said that Guan Zij was ecstatic. But for now, the surprise system update doesn't interest Shiraki. Because all his eyes were attracted by the rewards he just checked in. Infinite instant coaxing is an advanced strategy developed by Beifeng on top of instant coaxing. If instant coaxing is the Bankai of Danfang, 
then infinite instant coaxing is the second stage of returning to the blade. At this point in time, even the bee has just completed instant coaxing, so it's just for me. Is it really okay? But that's not the point, the point is. Shiraki looked at the reward behind Infinity Shun in shock. Perfect Hogyoku, are you serious? To be honest, Shiraki never expected that by punching Rengoku, he could get Hogyoku. But it's understandable when you think that the composition of Hogyoku itself has a part of Rengoku. It's just this fake word that makes people a little concerned. Is it a version with reduced functions? Shiraki's expression became serious. System, explain, what is perfect Hogyoku, pseudo. Ding, perfect Hogyoku, pseudo, that is. After a period of communication, Shiraki opened his eyes in shock. And no feature cuts. The system is the system, always so powerful, perfect Hogyoku, the one that eyes emerged at last, the Hogyoku where all wishes come true. False words, in fact, say that it does not really exist. In short, the present perfect Hogyoku is not so much Hogyoku as a slice, a silhouette, of the perfect period of Hogyoku. But in more popular words, there is a limit on the number of times. The current number is 2. That is to say, Shiraki can reserve a chance to use perfect Hogyoku as a resurrection coin, and then he can enjoy the function of perfect Hogyoku once. A bit of greed can be used twice. It's just that Shiraki won't do it. Dog. This word was engraved on Shiraki's forehead before he was invincible. But the time when the perfect Hogyoku can be used, then there is more to say. So, is it hypnosis glasses, or the hand of God, the power of the great sword, or common sense transformation, world modulation? In Shiraki's notebook, a series of words that the girls couldn't understand appeared. What is this man thinking? Just finished chatting with Toshiro, Hachi turned his head, looked at the newly updated items in the diary, and looked at Shiraki strangely. For some reason, Shiraki at this time always gave her a strange and very dangerous aura. She always feels that if she does not interrupt immediately, she will hang in the sky in the future, turning into a shower head, and encountering such and such bad things. The last time Babe had such a bad premonition was the night Yoruichi left. So Banfang resolutely followed the feeling in his heart, Hey, Shiraki, let's go. Oh oh oh, Shiraki nodded after thinking about Hogyoku, the perfect wishing machine, and followed Kaban. He almost let his imagination run wild just now, but luckily the bee successfully interrupted him. Thinking about it carefully, he can still rely on his strength for this kind of thing. After all, my second younger brother, the hero of heroes, was 18 years old, and suppressed all dissatisfaction. Afterwards, Shiraki glanced at the scabby in front of him. Behind the Captain Howry, who has two characters in the book, two exquisite ring bell snake braids flutter in the wind, like rain handles. So Shiraki added another sentence. With a weak person like Banfang, I can deal with her ten times in three minutes, and send her directly to the fourth team to hang up, there is no need to cheat at all. And at the moment when Shiraki's diary was updated synchronously. Crack. There was a crisp sound of the floor breaking. Ha, huh, Shiraki looked forward suspiciously. However, they found that under the lotus feet wrapped in cloth shoes, on the hard marble floor, dense cracks spread like spider webs. Um, seeing that a pit wasp was stepped out of the ground suddenly, Shiraki was very strange. Captain, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Listening to Shiraki's words, the bee clenched its fists tightly, its pretty face was dark, its silver teeth clenched and made a creaking sound of grinding teeth, the whole body was vibrated with Reiatsu, surrounded by murderous intent, and its petite chest heaved violently. She wanted to turn around and ask Shiraki, what's wrong with me, don't you understand? Even, if possible, Babe would like to bankai on the spot, let Shiraki look at her huge Jakaho Reikobin, and repeat the words in the diary just now. Weakness, ten times in three minutes, sent directly to the fourth team to hang water or something. B has never been insulted like this, never. The outrageous anger made Banfang want to turn around and have a showdown with Shiraki on the spot. Then beat him hard. But unfortunately, she couldn't do it. As long as the idea of a showdown with Shiraki arises, the feeling is the same as that of revealing the diary to others before, or even worse, and it will come to the B. She even had a feeling, as if a pair of invisible hands in the void were looking at her with a pair of big scissors, just waiting for her to go out of line a little bit, they would cut up and erase everything about her. 
This made the bee very puzzled. What the hell is this traverser? Why is there such a powerful force to protect him? It's just that the reality is, and the bee is not a person whose anger can replace wisdom. Therefore, faced with such a situation, the wasp had no choice but to smash its teeth and swallow it in its stomach. After all, objectively speaking, it is still in the interests of the bee to develop silently like this. Of course, it is still very angry. The strong aggrieved feeling made the bee want to vomit blood, and the not-so-big cup has been upgraded by a level. Especially after seeing that the grain bee did not respond, Shiraki took a step forward with concern and called out, Captain Grain Bee. Quote dot 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 quote. The bee was silent, taking a deep breath again. After suppressing Reiatsu who had already reached Bankai's critical point, Banbi reluctantly replied, I, it's fine. I just had a breakthrough just now, and I didn't control my strength well. Banfang made up a reason casually, and continued her route of concealment and non-exposure. Oh oh oh, Captain Banfang is really amazing. Shiraki nodded in amazement. After getting the answer, he didn't continue to ask. After all, it is impossible for Banfang to see the diary he wrote in his heart, right? Thinking that Banfang is a very hard-working person, and it is normal to break through, Shiraki did not continue to think. And after this episode, the journey of the two back to the second team has no more twists and turns. Banfang also saw how naive her previous thoughts were. Travelers, who have traveled from outside the story to inside the story, look at their characters in stories with a natural arrogance. As a person in the story, it is very difficult to break this arrogance. In particular, Shiraki now has a mysterious power to protect the body, which is even more difficult. Of course, as the captain of the second team, Banfang can also rely on her power to arrange a small player like Shiraki. But what's the point? Moreover, the potato bee is proud of obeying the rules, let alone do such a thing. So, that's the only way to go. With Shiraki, Banfang came to a private training ground of the second team. Turning around, clenching her fists and making a crackling sound, Hu Feng showed a wanton smile. Shiraki, jingling court respects the strong. If you are strong or have a relationship with the strong, you can naturally ignore the rules. Like Matsumoto Rengaku drinking with you, Captain Hitsugaya will complain, but will definitely not do anything to her. Now, prove to me that you have the strength to ignore the rules of the police patrol. As he said that, Banfang grabbed the Captain Howry on his body and pulled it casually. In the next second, wearing a round-the-neck regiment commander's combat uniform, backless and shoulderless, the seductive and attractive Panbi reappeared with smooth underarms. Oh, Shiraki's eyes lit up looking at such a bee. There are two versions of Banbi's dress, one from the anime and the other from the manga. The anime version is more conservative. White bandages are wrapped around the neck, back, and legs to reduce some exposure. But now, in front of Shiraki, there is an unbandaged wasp. Her delicate body turned sideways to Shiraki in a fighting pose, causing Shiraki's sight to be filled with a large piece of snow-white skin. Although I still want to ask Banfang, at this level, why he clings to him as a small player, but now is obviously not the time to care about these things. Click, has become Shiraki's instinctive reappearance of taking pictures, preserving the beauty of this moment forever. Ku la 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 la, look what treasure I found, there is no anti-harmony version of the bee. PR PR PR, it's so astringent, I really want to lick it. Soul Society, Nishi Rukongai, has left the broken boundary passage, and Yoruichi, who came to rest at a friend's house, paused slightly. Looking at Shiraki's newly updated photo, Yoruichi's eyes lit up and he liked it, indeed. This guy, although he hasn't met anyone yet, his photography skills are really good. It turned out to be such a small one, following behind my buttocks, the cute, gentle and gentle Shaoling has also grown up. Yoruichi lamented how time shaped a person. Then she picked up the teacup in front of her and took a sip. Feeling the lingering aroma of tea swaying in his mouth, Yoruichi exhaled comfortably. It is good civilization to drink a sip of tea lightly after strenuous exercise. But when she came back to her senses, she found that opposite her, Shiba Kong was looking at her suspiciously. Obviously, Yoruichi's abnormal movement just now made Shiba Kuzuru think of something. So, Shiba Konghei's only remaining arm touched under the table. An extremely familiar brick diary was displayed by Shiba Kongzuru. 
After noticing that she took out the diary without being warned, Shiba Kuzuru's eyes became strange. And looking at the diary that Shiba Kuzuru took out, Yoruichi was also shocked. Korizuru, don't you also? Yes, Shiba Kuzuru nodded. Sure enough, Yoruichi, you came back and said you want to investigate some information, this is it. That's right, Yoruichi was very happy. At first, she thought that she would act alone this time, but now that she has teammates, it will be very sweet. Krizuru, when did you get this diary? Putting aside Shiraki's affairs for the time being, Yoruichi discussed with Shiba Kuzuru, Hello, two sisters, I want it too. However, two flowers bloom, each representing a branch. Sisters are nice on this side, not so friendly on the other side. Originally, because of Shiraki's diary remarks, Banfang was angry, but due to restrictions, he couldn't vent. Therefore, B wants to beat Shiraki up. From her captain's standpoint, she can either beat the team members or teach them. After fighting for a while, as long as Shiraki is not too aggressive, Banfang can use her captain authority to upgrade him, and at the same time draw Shiraki closer to her. But the B didn't expect that when she wanted to vent, Shiraki was still so out of tune. Because the focus of his attention turned out to be her clothes and her exposed skin. The bee gritted her teeth angrily. Although Shiraki said that she also noticed the exposure of the clothes. But since the captain's howry has been taken off, it's impossible to pick it up and continue to put it on, right? Moreover, Banfang didn't expect that her combat uniform would look like this in the eyes of men. After all, her Xingjun combat uniform is convenient for instant coaxing. On the other hand, it is also convenient for cooling and ventilation during training. I have never paid attention to these. No one in the second team dared to look at her like that. But these are not important. Importantly, Shiraki never took her seriously. Whether it's the dowry made before, the sandwich biscuits, or the weakness just now, dehydration ten times, and now want to lick. Crackling, the string in the wasp's brain is broken. Under the deep shame and anger, the eyes of the bee were full of evil, and the skin as white as jade was stained with a light pink. The angry appearance of the beauty is still very good-looking. But Shiraki couldn't continue to appreciate such a beautiful scenery. Because, the next second, instant coax, white thunderbolts dancing wildly like a lion's mane exploded on the shoulders and the back of the jade bee. And with the high concentration of Kido Reiatsu bursting, a delicate and small fist is also continuously enlarged in front of Shiraki's eyes. Seeing the turbulent bumblebee, Shiraki couldn't react for a while, not knowing why the bumblebee would attack him suddenly. However, the system's rewards are reliable, endowed with abilities, and also endowed with muscle memory, the body immediately moved by itself. In return for the sudden attack of the potato, Shiraki's reiatsu surged all over him, and he made a pose that shocked the potato. At the same time, the high concentration of Reiatsu is like a substance, turning into wisps of white smoke and continuously gathering towards Shiraki's shoulders. This is impossible. Feeling Shiraki's Reiatsu mobilization, Hachi was shocked. Even I have just created this trick, and I haven't even had time to get the name. No, it actually has a name. Shiraki, who had entered the fighting state, smiled lightly, his sharp eyes piercing the heart of a bee like a sharp arrow. This move is called instant coaxing. Boom, the tyrannical but docile Reiatsu exploded on Shiraki's shoulders and back, and Kido Reiatsu combined with white hits transformed into strength into all limbs. With the explosion of Shiraki Reiatsu, the hard training ground was cracked by Reiatsu, and a large number of fragments floated against gravity. But surrounded by fragments of clothes and gravel, a wide palm passed through many barriers, and accurately caught another small and exquisite fist. Boom. A huge force collided, and a pure white mock ring exploded, sweeping away all the gravel and clothing fragments on the ground. Looking at the banfang that stopped in front of him, Shiraki smiled confidently, you punch and I give cloth, Captain Banfang, you lose. Looking at Shiraki's handsome face, the pupils of the bee shrank. However, after the initial astonishment, the potato bee quickly calmed down. Shiraki is a time traveler. He knows his own intelligence, and even knows that the trick of instant coaxing is normal. It is not surprising that Shiraki can instantly coax Shiraki if he knows the trick. And, that's the only way to be interesting. Banfang laughed jokingly. I thought I would make a wooden pile that wouldn't move today. Have you forgotten, the Reiatsu gap between you and me? 
As he said that, Babe let out a low growl, and the captain level Reiatsu, who had been intentionally restrained before, was fully released. With the strong wind pressure and the sudden increase in power, Babe repelled Shiraki with every inch of strength. Facing the fully opened B, the pressure came to Shiraki's side. As Aizen said, Reiatsu is the essence that determines all abilities of Shinigami, and the gap of Reiatsu is the most real gap in the Shinigami world. But the problem is that the Reiatsu gap between Shiraki and Potato is not as big as the level between Potato and Aizen. So, infinite instant coax, in the shocked and trembling eyes of the bee, the Reiatsu that had spread wildly on Shiraki's body was completely restrained. A large number of Reiatsu obediently surrounded Shiraki, constantly spinning like a whirlwind. This, this is, Banfang couldn't help but take two steps forward, just to better see what Shiraki looks like now. Ever since she completed the instant coaxing practice, the bee has been troubled by the uncontrollable power of the instant coaxing explosion, which is too loud, which is contrary to her purpose of stealthy maneuvering. Therefore, the bee has always wanted to restrain the instant coaxing, so that the power of the instant coaxing becomes soft and quiet. And this ultimate form of instant coaxing, she now sees in Shiraki. This, the wasp can no longer deceive itself. If it is said that Shiraki can practice instant coaxing, it is only because he is a time traveler and has a lot of information, so he took a shortcut to practice instant coaxing. Then the appearance of infinite instant coaxing now completely shatters such a possibility. As the saying goes, one sentence is true, but thousands of books are false. But there is another saying, that is, the master leads the door, and the practice depends on the individual. Infinity Instant speaks volumes about Shiraki's personal practice. Therefore, what the bee has to admit is that Shiraki is indeed stronger in terms of instant coaxing. Banfang suddenly remembered what he heard from a young wandering soul when passing by Rukongai once, if you can't pretend, you will get C. This sentence perfectly describes the current situation of the bee. I just wanted to teach Shiraki a lesson. But now it seems that whoever teaches who is not necessarily. However, don't think that I will just admit defeat like this. Banfang growled in his heart, his eyes stubborn. What's the name of this move? Asked the bee suddenly. Call, infinite instant coax. Very good. Babe nodded. Contain and rotate the originally violent Reiatsu in the form of a whirlwind, so as to achieve a cycle in which the old power has not been exhausted, but the new power has already appeared. Using Shunbo to promote Shunbo is for Infinite Shunbo, a good name. In this case, the instant coaxing on the Banfang also began to change. The lightning-like high concentration of Kido Reiatsu condensed on the shoulders and back began to flow. The pure white lightning connected head to tail, although it was not as good as Shiraki, but some whirlwinds had already appeared. Ha, huh, Shiraki was slightly startled when he saw the changes in the Scorpion B. As expected of a person who has comprehended instant coaxing by his own comprehension, has he made new progress just by looking at it twice? Shiraki's expression turned serious. Speaking of which, since he acquired so many abilities, he hasn't fought a serious battle yet. It's okay to use Banfang as the object of verification and let him know what kind of strength he is now. Captain Banfang, come on. Shiraki waved to Banfang. And since Shiraki took the initiative to invite her, then Banfang didn't pretend. Boom, Boom tapped its toes and disappeared in place, launching Shunpo, which is not weaker than Flash Goddess. In the next second, a petite figure appeared out of thin air, and a series of neat kicks swept across Shiraki's handsome face. The extremely fast speed made the bee almost hit Shiraki in just one-tenth of a second. Even, the small feet of the bee wearing cloth shoes can already feel the temperature of Shiraki's face. However, surprisingly, Shiraki didn't care about the attack of the wasp. Not only that, he even turned his head slightly and used his mouth to meet Yorichi's little feet, as if he wanted to take this opportunity to show off. Ha, huh, Shiraki's abnormal behavior made the bumblebee frown. Generally, women are not only defenseless in the face of Shiraki, but even want to take a bite, and they will feel subconscious disgust in their hearts, resulting in contraction of movements. But the bee is not an ordinary person. Since Shiraki dared to open his mouth, she dared to kick Shiraki's teeth. Therefore, not only did it not withdraw its strength, but it even invested a little more of the strength it used to make room for. The rapid and powerful kick even pulls a high-speed white line in the air. 
but only in an instant, the potato be reacted. No, there is fraud. As expected, before Shiraki's kick came to an end, Shiraki's movements suddenly stopped, and the figure that stayed in place turned into an afterimage and dissipated. Then, almost at the same time, Shiraki's figure entangled in the wind appeared behind the bee, and he slapped the smooth and white jade back of the bee with a sharp palm. And unlike the bee that kicked the afterimage, Shiraki really captured something this time. The plantain bee leaned forward vigorously while maintaining its midair sweeping motion. The reiatsu that exploded in an infinite instant poured down Shiraki's palm, and the extremely destructive gust wrapped the figure of the bee inside. For a moment, it was as if the potato bee had been stuffed into a running drum washing machine, and the whole body was spinning, losing control in the wind. Even the ground under the AoE was swept away by the blasting of the AoE, and with the AoE as the apex, a large cone spread out, and the leveled muddy ground of the training ground was shattered and turned into a beach, eroding tens of meters along the way. Different from the quiet appearance, Shiraki, who is the caster, was also a little surprised by the power released by the infinite instant hit on the object. But now obviously shouldn't be the time for him to be surprised. Because Potato B hadn't been bound by the whirlwind for a long time, her petite figure blurred for a while and suddenly turned into two broken black sleeves. Seeing this, Shiraki's pupils shrank, and he was very surprised. How could the bee do this? It's not. Shihuan's secret footwork number. 3. Sky Cicada. The cold figure sounded beside Shiraki, directly ending Shiraki's doubts. On the originally white and tender skin, a bee with some scratches and red marks appeared, turned around and swung its legs, and a powerful whip kick hit Shiraki's waist. As a matter of course, Shiraki, who didn't know that the wasps would be empty cicadas, ate it hard. But he wasn't defenseless either. On Shiraki's waist, a storm that is very similar to when Infinite Instant hits an object explodes. Obviously relying on Kong Chan's whole card, he managed to sneak attack and hit Shiraki. But Sui Feng was shocked to find that a thick wind shield blocked her feet. It's like there are countless hands pushing Sui Feng, no matter how powerful she is, this kick just can't touch Shiraki's body. At the same time, a strong inward wind blew, and under the strong wind, Shiraki's body was blown out, stuck Sui Feng's attack breaking through the windshield at the last moment, away from Sui Feng's little feet. So, Shiraki was not hurt. This is another function of infinite instant coaxing. The infinite and instantaneous gusts wrapped around him can use the principle similar to the tank's explosive reactive armor to explode and release force at the moment Shiraki is hit, and then push him away from the attack. Could Shun Ha be able to do such a thing? Seeing such a result, Sui Feng was shocked again. She is a ninja and an assassin, and she didn't consider self-protection ability at the beginning of her construction ability, just like her Shikai second level kill and Bankai super missile. But I didn't expect that instant coaxing, which has never been demanded in this regard, can still be like this after the level is high. It's scary, and it's almighty. Sui Feng's expression became serious. On the other side, Shiraki who stopped his figure is actually the same. Although the two only had a few short rounds, Sui Feng's ability to seize opportunities and the strong adaptability brought by his rich combat experience also gave Shiraki a strong shock. After a wave of frontal attacks failed, he immediately turned his whole cards to maximize the stop loss, then turned the crisis into an opportunity and successfully played an attack that threatened Shiraki. If you don't consider the extremely high attribute improvement brought by Infinity Instant Coax to Shiraki, the ending of today's battle should be without any disturbances. At the end of the day, I just got a Vice Captain level Reiatsu and Zenkwan Zugi. Shiraki murmured, it's a bit inflated to directly use an opponent of Sui Feng's level as a touchstone. Strategic contempt, it's okay to say hello in a diary that only you can see, but tactically you must pay attention. After all, after fighting for so long, Sui Feng hasn't exerted his full strength yet. For Sui Feng, the real full strength should be Shikai plus instant coaxing. Because Shikai is capable of multiplying Shinigami's Reiatsu. Unfortunately, Shiraki's own Zanpakuto has not yet awakened, probably because he has only just regained his memory. Go on, Shiraki reviewed himself deeply, and reminded himself in the deepest part of his heart that he had to learn to be in awe. Ha! Huh. Taking a deep breath, Shiraki became serious and concentrated. As an opponent, Sui Feng also noticed Shiraki's changes immediately. Sui Feng was a little surprised, 
Oh, has it changed? Traveler. If the previous Shiraki always gave her a feeling of floating, then the current Shiraki is standing on the ground. Such Shiraki finally made Sui Feng feel a little better. Originally, she was displeased with Shiraki's attitude, but now Shiraki's attitude has changed, which also made Sui Feng a lot less angry. Therefore, Sui Feng's attitude also changed. Sui Feng drew the Zanpakudo, and said in Shikai, Sting the enemy. Suzumbaki. If she was not Shikai before, she wanted to use instant coaxing to fight endless instant coaxing, and use the weak to fight the strong, so that she can teach Shiraki the most profound lesson. But now Shiraki's attitude has changed, and Sui Feng's attitude has changed from a lesson to a guide. So, with the activation of the word spirit, Zanpakudo, which was originally in the form of a short sword, changed into a gold bee sting wrapped around the middle finger of the bee. Shikai drives Reiatsu to improve, and with Sui Feng's instant coaxing, her strength has reached the same level as Shiraki, and even a line higher than Shiraki. And after the captain level, sometimes the strength is higher than the first line, but the height is boundless. Be careful next time, Sui Feng reminded. Then, without Shiraki reacting at all, Sui Feng disappeared in front of Shiraki, and then the endless instant storm defense was triggered beside Shiraki. Boom, the strong gale blows, trying to block the enemy that endangers its controller, and then pushes Shiraki away. But this time, Shikai's Sui Feng won't be so easily blocked. The moment Shiraki's body was still moving, a burst of coldness exploded on Shiraki's left waist. E.H. Shiraki subconsciously clutched his waist and took a few steps back. However, a strange burning sensation came from the skin under the palm. Shiraki looked down, and on his waist, a black butterfly tattoo was planted by Sui Feng. This is Sui Feng's bee pattern flower, which means that Shiraki has been stabbed once here. The Zanpakudo Shikai ability of Zanpakudo Shikai is a two-hit kill, that is to say, if the same place is planted with a second bee pattern flower, then Shiraki will definitely die. Looking at Feng Wenhua under his palm, Shiraki asked speechlessly. Captain Sui Feng, I was only absent from work for half a day, it's not against the rules of heaven. Two hits kill, as for. Of course, why not? For those little thieves who dare to offend the majesty of the captain, they must be deterred directly. Through the helplessness on Shiraki's face, Sui Feng saw a little bit of panic hidden in him, and Sui Feng raised his chin and smiled arrogantly. You might as well think about how to avoid my second level kill, and don't be stabbed by me again. You know, when two pieces of honeysuckle are intertwined into eight petals, even Captain Yunohana Retsu can't save you. But that being said, Sui Feng will not actually stab Shiraki twice, this is just to scare Shiraki. Because it really made Sui Feng very happy to knock down the high-ranking traverser. Even Sui Feng realized something. It turns out that teasing and scaring people is such a fun thing. No wonder Master Yoruichi liked to tease me so much. So, after seeing Shiraki, who had a bitter face and really took it seriously, wanted to find a chance to run away, Sui Feng resolutely attacked again. Left, right, left again, too slow, back. Your infinite instant coaxing gives you the same speed as mine, move. Very good, it's moving, but you have to pay attention, only the speed you can control is your speed. Suzumbaki in hand, Sui Feng's figure kept disappearing and flashing on the training ground. And this battle has completely turned into a unilateral teaching situation between Sui Feng and Shiraki. An hour later, Reiatsu was basically exhausted, and Shiraki, whose body was covered with honeysuckle flowers, stopped weakly and gave a French military salute. Enough is enough, Captain Sui Feng, please spare me. I'm just absent from work, and I'll accept whatever punishment you want. Shiraki said out of breath, seeing that there is indeed no drop left in Shiraki, and at the same time, there is no other place around the body to continue to grow honeysuckle, Sui Feng nodded. Okay, I'll let you off this time. Ha, huh, Shiraki sighed wearily, relaxing his tense nerves. Fighting against Sui Feng is really tiring, but he was not without gains. In the one-hour teaching bureau, under the spur of Sui Feng, Shiraki's Shunpo and his control over himself really improved by leaps and bounds. But there is also a problem here, Shiraki doesn't need to work so hard to become stronger. He has a diary. Fortunately, Shiraki understood Sui Feng's purpose, Sui Feng did not intend to kill him. 
Sui Feng just caught him drinking by accident, wanting to teach him a lesson. But I didn't expect that Shiraki's strength was unexpected, and he was still pretending in front of her, so he turned from a lesson to a fight. But later, Shiraki's mentality adjusted again, and Sui Feng also liked him as a talent, and the second half turned into teaching. This is what Shiraki probably guessed Sui Feng was thinking. Although there are still some logical problems in some places, Shiraki feels that it should be roughly correct. Shiraki, who wanted to understand, relaxed, and even felt happy in bitterness. So Shiraki took a photo of himself and put it in the diary. Being turned into a hedgehog by a certain arrogant little bee, sad. In the diary, Shiraki, who is in a mess and covered with bee patterns on the surface of his skin, looks miserable but funny. And looking at Shiraki who was beaten badly, the girls were also very surprised. As this, Captain Sui Feng playing, is she like this, I remember that Shiraki just missed work for half a day and went drinking with Miss Rangaku. After a futile trip, Rukia, who has returned to the 13th squad, frowned slightly. In Shiraki's state, no matter how you look at it, it looks like he has been severely punished. The problem is based on Rukia's understanding, Shiraki is just a common team member, and Sui Feng is the captain, so there is no way to embarrass him like this. Unless, Captain Sui Feng is really angry. Rukia's magnificent purple pupils are shining with the light of wisdom, she is not Shiraki who is a bit obsessed with the authorities. It's just that according to common sense, a mere team member doesn't deserve the captain's personal attention at all, and it doesn't deserve Sui Feng to be so angry. There is no reason, but she is angry. So, Rukia continued to reason. After eliminating all the impossible, there is only one truth. That is, Aya Kosao, is the owner of the diary too. Yoruichi, who had just finished discussing with Shiba Kuzuru, touched his chin at Shiba's mansion. Since Shiba Kuzuru has a diary, it means that she is not an exception to have a diary, so it is not surprising that Sui Feng also has one. That's why Sui Feng was so angry when he saw the diary, and he gave Shiraki a good meal. Yoruichi, who had thought about this clearly, was a little happy. Because as the first to discover the identity of the owner of another diary, Yoruichi and Shiba Kong also discovered an extremely practical function from the diary. That is, the owner of the diary can add friends and communicate with each other through the diary, and such communication seems to have no distance and space restrictions. With such an ability, as a former secret maneuver commander, Yoruichi immediately thought of a variety of uses, ranging from daily communication to intelligence sneaking and assassination. But for them, the most practical things are not these little things. Rather, the possibility of avoiding Kyoka Suigetsu complete hypnosis through the communication ability of the diary. So Yoruichi was so happy knowing that Sui Feng is also the owner of the diary. Aizen's complete hypnosis is very powerful, but he can hypnosis the person in front of him, and at the same time hypnosis the entire battlefield, but he can't even hypnosis the entire world, right? As long as the owner of a diary is not hypnosis, and she can detect the battlefield situation and see Aizen's real body. Then the information obtained through her is passed on to everyone who is being affected by Aizen hypnosis, and Kyoka Suigetsu will naturally crack it. However, Yoruichi is also worried. Because of the logic of Sui Feng's behavior, there are loopholes. Although Aizen is their archenemy, Yoruichi didn't forget that Shiraki also said that the captain was killed in battle. According to Yoruichi's judgment, Aizen is unlikely to kill the captain, which means that Soul Society has other enemies. If Sui Feng's actions revealed that they were able to see Shiraki's diary, how would they know the fate of the Soul Society? After all, Shiraki is not a fool, as a time traveler, he knows all of them. So, ask Shiraki directly. Of course, this is also a way, but everything is afraid of the unexpected, what if the other party doesn't tell? On the premise that the whole world is at stake, there is nothing wrong with seeking stability. I hope Kosaya has considered this. Yoruichi murmured. Just as she expected, Shiraki also thought about these issues even if the authorities were confused. In the diary, new thoughts appeared. By the way, I'm just a common Shinigami of the second team, why is Sui Feng taking care of me like this? When she called at the very beginning, it was Shunhu's direct call. Shiraki was really puzzled. Instant coaxing shot, common Shinigami could be punched to death there, what can he do? Looking at Sui Feng, 
Shiraki also directly asked, Captain Sui Fang, why do you take care of me so much? Hearing Shiraki's question and seeing Shiraki's diary, Sui Fang was surprised. This is indeed her problem, and it may be exposed if she gets up. Fortunately, Sui Fang had already prepared an answer. So Sui Fang put on a businesslike appearance, and said solemnly, Gote 13, responsibility comes first, you obviously have the ability comparable to the vice captain, and you have a powerful technique like instant coaxing, so don't be a common shinigami, understand? Speaking of which, I would also like to thank Rangaku. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't know that the second team still has a strong man like you. I see. Listening to Sui Feng's words, Shiraki understood. He remembered the setting of Jingalingting. Jingalingting is a noble organization whose mission is to protect human beings and maintain the balance of the three realms. Therefore, there is no withdrawal system within Gote 13, and players who want to withdraw from the team due to their own will or not recognized. At the same time, because Gote 13 is a noble organization, Central 46 does not even allow the occurrence of incompetent members among the qualified members. If you leave the team, there is only one case, that is, the team member's thinking has some kind of deviation, and there is some kind of danger, so he is withdrawn from the team and kept in the special threshold building, which is the maggot's nest of the second team. To sum it up, it means that Jingling Court requires everyone to die, Shendu 996, for the great cause of maintaining the balance of the three realms, and die. And this is the corporate culture of Jingalingting. And this set is quite popular in Jingalingting. After all, the chief captain is so old and is still paying for Jingalingting, why don't you give? Manual dog head. Come to think of it, Sui Feng did this today because he discovered the strength of his vice captain. So, Shiraki looked at Sui Feng thoughtfully. Sui Feng smiled proudly, and directly put on the airs of the captain of the second squad. So come to the captain's office of the second team to report tomorrow, and you will be the vice captain of the second team from now on. This is your punishment for absenteeism. Ha! Huh. Listening to Sui Feng's words, Shiraki scratched his ears, unable to believe what he heard. It wasn't long before he recovered his memory, and he hadn't written a diary for a day, so why did he become the vice captain of the second team? How does this make him continue to follow the Go Dao? But Sui Feng had already made up his mind, so Shiraki missed a poem on the spot, ahem, stop. In a daze, a crab claw came across Hengyu, making Shiraki restrain his dangerous thoughts. Shiraki said dumbfoundedly, Well, Captain Sui Feng, I remember that our second team has a vice captain. It's gone now, Sui Feng said without blinking. That upright look almost made Shiraki really think that the second team didn't have a vice captain. Shiraki scratched his head, trying to make a last effort. The question is Captain Sui Feng, if I remember correctly, Vice Captain Omeida is a nobleman, right? If I remember correctly, the Vice Captain Omeida is in charge of the renovation of the entire second team building. Is it the big sponsor of the entire second team? If I remember correctly, the Omeida family has been the hereditary chief of the second division for generations. The Omeida family is an intermediate noble. Shiraki asked three questions in a row. Listening to Shiraki's question, Sui Feng went directly from the proud little bee at the beginning, hunched over step by step, into a little bee crushed by reality. Sui Feng with a kitten on his hip. How angry, she still can't refute. At the beginning, she said that she didn't want Omeida just out of anger. In fact, the Omeida family, as hereditary nobles, played a very important role in the second team. Sui Feng is Soi Fan of Feng family, not Yoruichi of Shihuan family. With her current authority, it is of course possible to force Omeida Marekio to step down as vice captain. Because even if she complains a lot, Omeida is still loyal to her, but it's still somewhat inappropriate. So, although very upset, Sui Feng still had to take a step back. Then three seats. Saying that, Sui Feng glared at Shiraki who was still about to say something, don't refuse. Okay, Shiraki scratched his head, accepting the position given by Sui Feng. After all, Shendu, the many female students he likes, is in a high position, and the original status is indeed a bit awkward, and the third seat is fine. And with Shiraki winning the third seat, this time the matter is almost over. From Shiraki's point of view, today is considered complete. So Shiraki waved his hand at Sui Feng, turned his head and was about to leave, 
Then Captain Sui Feng, I will take my leave. But at this moment, Sui Feng stopped him again. Etc. Ha! Shiraki turned his head in doubt. Sui Feng pointed to the bee pattern flowers all over Shiraki's body. You, are you going to go out like this? Although, I don't care. Dot but it seems a bit inappropriate for you to behave like this. Turning his head, Sui Feng said awkwardly. Just now, he was able to fight and planted Shiraki's body with bee pattern flowers, but now that he calmed down, Sui Feng realized that Shiraki's appearance was somewhat funny. Moreover, Sui Feng's bee pattern flowers, as a symbol of extremely strong personal meaning, spread all over Shiraki's body like this, somehow giving her a sense that she is declaring sovereignty. Like some male Shinigami who like to grow strawberries around female Shinigami's necks. In short, to put it simply, Sui Feng is now shy. But Shiraki didn't think so much. This Feng Wenhua is indeed a bit strange, so. Shiraki looked at Sui Feng suspiciously. He remembered that the honeysuckle flower seemed to be washed off with a special potion, so did Sui Feng ask him to get the potion. Things didn't seem to be any different than what Shiraki thought. Sui Feng walked to the edge of the training field to pick up the Captain Howry she had dropped, and then said to Shiraki, follow me. So, Sui Feng led the way, Shiraki followed behind, and the two arrived at the depths of the second division, a relatively private and quiet mansion. Pushing open the gate, training equipment scattered in the yard can be seen everywhere. It can be seen that the owner of this room is an extremely self-disciplined person. Could it be that this is? Shiraki looked at the back of the boa bee in front of him. Even if the beautiful white back was stained with some dust and scratched by red during the battle, it was still attractive. Shiraki suddenly had an idea. And soon, Sui Feng verified this idea for him. With Shiraki, the two came all the way to a fairly spacious bathroom. Sui Feng raised his chin. Here it is, take it off. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.